So we've created our new scene, but we now need to add some scenery. That might be adding a webcam. It might be the display from one of your monitors, maybe the window of an app you're running, or an image or loads of other things. So we are on my scene that I created there. I'm gonna to go to sources and add a new source. And we've got a number of options here. Image, that's just an image. Um, we can link to an image on your computer. Media source could be a video or some audio. Text, you know, you can add some text uh, and text overlay to the screen. Display capture, that is one of your monitors. Um, and the window capture is the window of an app you're running. I'll skip over game capture, that's if you're into gaming. Video capture, so that's like a webcam. And then we've got some other options there. So we're gonna to go to video capture device. Now I've got some existing ones here already created, but uh, imagine I don't, so I'm gonna add uh, a webcam. So I'm gonna put my webcam in there. I'm gonna put 100 because uh, it's gonna moan that I've already cr created one with that name. Just wait for that to load. And you should see in the device option, your webcam, or if you have a number of webcams, you should see these listed. So I've got my integrated webcam in my laptop, and I've got also got my Logitech HD Pro webcam C920. So I'm gonna select that, and you can, if you want, you can configure the video, you can you can go into more details here. This will, if you click on that, that should open up your webcam settings here and just check that everything is okay. Uh, I think everything is, so I'm gonna just close that down. Another tip that I found uh, to force HD, if your webcam is not outputting HD, then just change the device default to custom. I had to do this for mine because it wasn't doing HD. And then I chose 1920 times 1080 to get the HD. So I'm gonna click OK. Now for me, this isn't gonna work because I've already added the webcam as a device. So we've got a problem here. So the only way, once you've created a webcam or a source, you shouldn't add a, a duplicate because it won't work. So I'm just going to click remove to remove webcam 100. And I'm going to add, go again to video capture device. And I'm going to go to an existing one. I've got a choice of two, but in this case, I'm just gonna use my normal webcam, my, my external webcam. And there you go, hello. So um, that is that is how you add one source. But uh, the other thing to bear in mind is, or the other thing that you can do is you can go to the, the preview section here and you can resize what you see just by clicking on the red corners, you can resize. Now this is something that you may find useful later on, but let's just try that. I'm just gonna put that there and I'm gonna add my other webcam just by clicking plus to my scene. So I'll go to video capture device, go to add existing, and I'm gonna to go to my old webcam, which is actually my integrated webcam. And there we go, hello. So I'm gonna put that over there. Now we've got a slight issue here in that the aspect ratio is slightly different. Well, the one on the left, my new webcam is, is full HD and it's widescreen. So there are ways of going into that and um, changing the settings. It's not something I necessarily want to do now, but uh, you can go in there and configure the video, change the resolution perhaps to, you know, the problem is we've got the aspect ratio differently, but it's not a big deal. Um, so there you go. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can add some text to this. So let's add some text. We'll go to text there and I'm just going to put in there new text and I'm just going to put in something like hello well in fact why do I just put my name so Ian Anderson Gray um, I can change the font but we'll keep it as Arial for the time being uh, I can move that and just resize that slightly so if for example you have got a multiple camera set up and you're using one camera for one person and one for another, then you can do it this way. So I can add another bit of text here, go to, and just imagine the person on the right is somebody else. So I'm gonna add in a new source there and I'm gonna put in Mr. Bob, who was 
a teddy bear that my daughter had at one point. She it was a school teddy bear called Mr. Bob. So there we go. So imagine this is an interview between Ian Addison Gray and Mr. Bob. And that's a very quick and easy way to put the, the name of each person under each video.